The parents of a 21-year-old Austin College student are fighting for change after their daughter was murdered, allegedly by a man she just met. They're suing her apartment complex, claiming she warned them about the threat she was facing. The KVU defenders found state law could have protected her, but it wasn't enough. Tonight, the family wants to know why. Here's KVU's Bryce Newberry. She was such, such an inspiration. Natalia Cox was a star student, passionate cheerleader, and aspiring plastic surgeon. The 21-year-old from North Texas was set to graduate from Houston Tillotson University this spring. She was kind of that balance that kind of held everyone together. But her promising young life was cut short in March. Her parents, Lester and Lakeisha, think her murder could have been prevented. We were obviously in shock and, and disbelief. Police arrested 24-year-old Henry Watson for her murder, a man investigators say she'd been on two dates with. According to court documents, he showed up outside Natalia's apartment one week earlier on March 24th, just three days after they met. She wouldn't let him in and told investigators Watson was holding a gun in front of the camera during a FaceTime video call. Watson told Cox to, quote, open the door or he was going to shoot it open. She called 911. Austin police responded, but the case was not assigned to a detective until March 30th, six days later. The detective told us Watson committed a terroristic threat offense, but police never arrested him or referred the case to prosecutors. Then before dawn on March 31st, seven days after he allegedly threatened Natalia, Austin police responded to calls of shots fired at the apartment complex where she lived. She was found dead inside. This wasn't necessarily domestic violence that happened over a, a, a long period of time. It happened very quickly. Once in custody, detectives connected Watson to a second murder on March 25th, less than 24 hours after he first threatened Cox. Natalia's family now suing the company that owns Colonial Grand at Canyon Point, alleging she and her roommate asked to move out following Watson's threat. The lawsuit claims they were told to pay a new application fee, an administrative fee, a new security deposit, and two months of rent, but they couldn't afford it. She said, I need to get out of my lease. I'm not safe here. He knows where I lived. He threatened my life. Um, I need to urgently relocate. Bianca Morales represents Natalia's family. They claim the complex management was negligent for not letting her move without penalties. And they failed um, to, to take that, that threat seriously, and it ultimately resulted in, in her tragic death. We reached out to Colonial Grand at Canyon Point. They referred us to company lawyers who, in their response to the lawsuit, denied the allegations. The KVU defenders found existing state law allows domestic violence victims to break a lease by showing documentation like an emergency protective order. But Natalia had a police report. She didn't have that order, and it would have been extremely difficult to get one in the mere days she had before being killed. Unfortunately, the system just wasn't fully working for her. State Representative Vicki Goodwin represents Northwest Austin. She says it highlights the need for a stronger law to protect victims. If somebody comes to your door and threatens you with a gun, you can go before a judge and, and have the judge say that the gun needs to be removed from that person who's been a threat. But state lawmakers won't convene for a regular legislative session until early 2023. The domestic violence advocacy group Safe Alliance hopes Natalia's murder can spark a shift much sooner. I believe that if the apartment complex had known that they could reach out to SAFE, they would have probably taken very different steps. SAFE's Dr. Jacqueline Smith Francis believes education is the key to change. Can we get to a point in our society, Bryce, where we trust people who say that they're being abused and we believe them, right? And then we set up systems and steps by which we can actually support them, even if we do not have the quote unquote legal documentation. Natalia Cox found her calling. In May, Natalia's alma mater paid tribute to her, presenting her family with an honorary degree. We knew what a special child she was. Cox's professor, Amanda Massino. Just one of those people who wants to contribute and she wanted to make the world better and she found so many ways to do it. She meant a lot to a lot of people. 
For Lester and Lakeisha, it's now about finding a new way to navigate life without their bright light, while still remembering Natalia's impact. You think about power. It's strength, yes, power and strength, but it's strength in love and in strength in, in enduring and fighting for what you believe. And so that's for me, is this, my baby rep represented strength. Strength, they hope, leads to a safer Texas. In Austin, for the KVU Defenders, I'm Bryce Newberry. Bryce, thanks. In July, Henry Watson was found incompetent to stand trial for Natalia Cox's murder. The court ordered him to a mental health facility for further evaluation. At last check, he still remains in Travis County custody.